back to my channel. I'm James and this channel is all about great movies and great TV series from all over the world. And today we've got a complete series review of a great TV series from 1966. Today we're going to be deep diving into The Time Tunnel, the complete remastered and restored series on Blu-ray. And this is Irwin Allen's The Time Tunnel. And this is another exclusive review you're only gonna find on my YouTube channel. So make sure you're subscribed down below so you don't miss out on any of this exclusive content. But we're gonna be going into what makes this series unique, what kind of the story behind the series was, what my review score is, what my thoughts were on the remaster of this on Blu-ray, and if it's something you should pick up and add to your collection. And this one has a unique history. If any of you know anything about Irwin Allen's The Time Tunnel, it aired in 1966 to 1967. And it was a sci-fi time travel historical TV series. And it was a really, really great TV series. It actually has a huge cult following. And this series has never been released before on Blu-ray fully remastered in full 1080p HD. And I will tell you right off the bat, it does look pretty darn good. And up above, I'll be showing you screenshots of what the series looks like remastered and things like that. And as I've always said on all my previous reviews, It'll never look as good on these screenshots that you're going to see on YouTube as it will in person. So if you like what you see on here, it's going to look way better when you have it on your own 1080p HD TV or 4K TV. It'll look way better, but this just gives you an example of it and it does look pretty darn good. Now the time tunnel ran for 30 episodes. So to compare this to like a modern TV series that we'd have on TV now, I mean this series 30 episodes would be like almost three seasons of most TV series that are on now. I mean. Most TV shows get anywhere between 10, some of them get 7, the longer TV series get like 13 now. So back in the day, this was 30 episodes, which was a huge deal for a TV series nowadays. So you technically get almost 3 seasons worth, and it's spread across 7 Blu-ray discs. And when we get into the unboxing, I'll show you those as well, but I just wanted to touch on why the series was unique and why it ended up getting cancelled and didn't go on for numerous seasons after that. Basically, Irwin Allen, he was the big go-to name back in the 60s for sci-fi and like big TV series at the time. He had Lost in Space and he had Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea and he was big at that time. And he had this series and it was one of the most expensive TV series aired in the 1960s to produce, to make, the special effects. And you can really tell that for the 1960s they were really trying something new and big budget for this and it does have some pretty darn cool special effects sets on it and that's where the expense came into was is they had to build these sets and they were big for that time period now no it's not going to compare to like obviously the modern lost in space tv series that's on netflix now that came out on blu-ray but it is pretty darn cool and it's one of those nostalgic if you've ever seen the series um, it's up there with star trek they did a great job with it I wish it would have continued on, but 30 episodes was a big deal and it still is. I mean, you get an hour long episode almost each episode and there's some pretty unique things in this box set. You actually get 32 total episodes and here's why. You get two additional episodes. One of them is an unaired pilot episode that was actually a pilot movie that led into what the series was that actually is included in this fully remastered in HD. And then you also get the unique pilot episode that they created for the Time Tunnel series that they created years later, which came out about 18 years ago and was never aired on TV. That's in here as well. So you get several big bonuses in this set that basically combine all of the Time Tunnel history and everything that went into it, as well as, like I said, that unaired pilot episode of that more modern series. So I did like that they included that in it and made this such a complete series set. Now diving into this a little more, you get it in a nice big thick, obviously Blu-ray case, which I did like that, how it came in a thick Blu-ray case. Um, obviously 20th Century Fox provided the master material for them to go in and scan and do the remaster restoration for this Blu-ray set. And Revelation Films is actually who did it. Now on this set, it does come with all in English, talks about the 30 episodes in spectacular high definition with optional original mono, which for the audio options, it does come with LPCM 2.0 mono in English, which is the original, or they did a brand new 5.1 audio mix for this Blu-ray release. And that comes in a DTS HD master audio English 5.1. And I'll tell you, I did play it in the English 5.1. It sounds way better than the mono. Now, the mono didn't sound bad, but the mix they did with this did open up the range quite a bit. It was easier to hear 
the explosions, the gunfires, when a ship would explode or things like that, man, you could hear it a whole lot better. And for this series, that audio upgrade is worth it alone because the mono, when you ever watch the DVDs or anything like that, the mono on it was horrible. So the new audio mix they did for this is great on it. But it has some pictures on the back here and I'll dive into the special features here with you. Like I said, it does have the original unaired pilot episode in HD. Then it has the 2002 unaired TV pilot. That's the one I said it's very unique. You get several extra episodes of things that tie together the time tunnel history. Um, then you also get the Time Travelers TV movie. That's another extra on there. So technically, I guess you're getting 33 episodes, but the other one's a Time Travelers TV movie. So that's something extra. Um, then you get cast interviews, Irwin Allen's behind the scenes home movies. You get promotional TV and radio spots, visual effects behind the scenes, camera tests, and stills gallery. So a ton, a plethora of special features on this, which is really, really nice. Now, I will touch on this right away so you know this going into this. This series does say on the back here that it's region B locked. That is not correct at all. As always on the channel, just like you all know that have watched this channel for a while, I exclusively test every one of these. This set is region free, so nothing to worry about. You don't have to have any special region free or region unlocked Blu-ray player. This plays in all of them. I tried it in my region A, my region B, and my region C, and then my Xbox, Xbox Series X, my PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, plays in all of them seamlessly, no issues. I didn't have to change regions, set up anything. It just pops it in, it plays it perfectly. And it does have the 20th Century Fox logos on it and things like that. Looked great. And because this is an official licensed release from 20th Century Fox who owns the show, they did a great job with this because they were able to scan the original negatives. And that's a huge thing for this because it looks pretty darn good. And if any of you have bought or seen the Mission Impossible uh, remaster restoration that came out from Paramount Studios that I did an actual review on earlier last year, this one looks just as good as that. I was actually very, very impressed. So if you're wanting a reference for that and you own that Mission Impossible, that's how good this set looks. And they did a great job, loved it. Now going inside here, you don't get reversible artwork, but that's fine because I did like the thick Blu-ray case that it gave for it. Each of the discs has Region B listed on it. That is incorrect. And if you go to buy this, I will have that link as always linked in the description section right below this video. And if you go down there to that description section and you click on that link, it'll take you out there to Amazon. Amazon's listings are always incorrect on this. It'll say Region B lock. That's not correct. And none of these basically companies or studios go out there to test these to see if they're region locked or not. And that's why they just put up whatever it says on the back of the box. That's not correct. None of these discs are region locked. They are all region free. So even though it does have that logo on it, as always, I test these. That's why all of you love my channel. And so this is region free. So you don't have to worry about that. Going through that link down there gets the exact set that I'm reviewing here. So as long as you're buying that exact set, you will get the region free set because that's the exact same link I use to buy my set through. So as always, you go down to that description section, you open that up. And you'll see this listed out with the Amazon link down there. So make sure if you're gonna buy it, you buy it through that link so you make sure you get this exact set. Now, it goes through here, it talks about the TV show is rated PG, Time Tunnel, and then it lists off each episode that's on each disc. So the nice thing is it does list off all the titles of the episodes on the discs. So without you having to stick them in, list off episode one, two, three, four, tells you what number the episode was with the title in English. So that way you don't have to, like I said, put it in to check what the episodes are. They're all listed on each of these. And that's the way every single disc is. It goes through telling each of those discs. And then when you get to the final disc back here, it does have the final disc with all of the extra special features listed through it. So it goes through all of them listing them out and that's on there. It's a seven disc Blu-ray set. And the Blu-rays are in full 1080p HD and they're BD 50s. So for the five episodes that they put on there, because the runtime will range anywhere between 40 minutes all the way up to like 55 minutes, you have plenty of room for the content that's on there. They didn't over compress it for that BD50 being in full 1080p HD. So I did like that about it and I did think the case and the set was really nice. It didn't come cracked and I really did like the case and the artwork of what came on it. Now getting into some more details on this set. Now I did talk to you about that it is a time travel, basically action, adventure, mystery show. And what happens is it starts off the first few minutes of basically the pilot episode it's a government project to try to travel or see through time to maybe see if there's ways to stop bad events from happening. And one of the scientists that has basically built this machine 
Um, they're going to shut down the project. He says, well, I'll make sure to show you that it works. They said, well, we're going to shut down. It's too expensive. He jumps in the time machine. It sends him back in time at first episode to Titanic. And he doesn't realize he's on the Titanic at first. And so it's a whole thing of trying to figure out how to get him off the Titanic because he wasn't supposed to go through the time tunnel. They weren't sure what was going to happen. And it's all a basically mystery and kind of him trying to change the course of events and him not being able to change the course of the Titanic events. But throughout time, they're able to change certain things, not change things. And one of the other scientists goes back in time to help him. And they end up getting stuck bouncing throughout time. And it goes between present to past to present to past. And the scientific team is trying to pull them back through time. And it was really well done. Very entertaining show. Very, very entertaining. If you like Star Trek, Mission Impossible, any of those series, you're going to really love the time tunnel. Especially if you like Lost in Space. I personally thought this was one of Irwin Allen's best series. I like this better than Lost in Space and his voyage to the bottom of the sea. I personally thought this was Erwin Allen's best series. But the reason it got canceled and the history behind that was it was so expensive, they asked Erwin Allen to basically lower his budget for season two to do another 30 episodes by basically one third or less. He said no. He said that basically if you weren't going to give me the full budget that I used in the first season for those 30 episodes, I wasn't going to continue to do it. So that's why the show got canceled. Uh, fans were upset because it was great, great show had great cult status. People love it nowadays. And it's kind of a shame they never did get to continue it on past those 30 episodes. Plus, like I said, the TV movie and the pilot and things like that. But I'm glad to own it. And 30 episodes is great considering, like I said, in most TV series nowadays, you get 10 episodes. So it's like three seasons in here. Now I'm going to cover something real quick with all of you. So make sure you stick around here. If you enjoy these videos that I put out and you enjoy the content that I make and all these exclusive videos, please make sure to consider giving this a super thanks for me. Down in the bar right below this video, you scroll across and there's a heart symbol and I'll show you what the heart symbol here looks like. It's basically a super thanks button that you click on that helps support the channel and all that money just goes right back into the channel so that way you can get more of these exclusive reviews and buy these from other countries and get them in. And just like all of you know that have watched this channel for a while, this can get expensive because I test these out. Sometimes they don't work, sometimes they do. So that actually goes right back in for me to be able to go out and get these and test these for you on the channel. So if you enjoy this content, make sure to go down there and give this video a super thanks for me. I always appreciate that. And I appreciate all the love and support all of you have given to the channel. As always, also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to give this video a like, click that subscribe button and the bell notification right next to it. That way you're notified right when I release any of these exclusive reviews. So you're one of the first ones to get to watch it. And then you can always follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook, which is just the name of the channel in search of physical media. And that just gives you a little extra hidden content. I post some little reviews on there. If I get something that doesn't work, I kind of tell people on there about it. Deals and all extra hidden content I'll post on there. And once you're subscribed, make sure to check the community section on this YouTube channel. That gives you extra content as well. That way there's extra little things on there. And as always, I will have all of the links for everything I'm talking about, just like this Blu-ray set. That way you get this exact region free Blu-ray set down in the description section right below this channel. So you click that description section, it opens up and it has the link for this exact set through Amazon right in the description section below. It's always linked in every one of my videos right in the description section below. And that also helps support the channel. So make sure if you're going to pick up this Blu-ray set, you go down there through the description section below and click through that link. All right, we've got a lot of exciting stuff to dive back into this review. Let's dive right back into this. So continuing on Erwin Allen's The Time Tunnel. Like I said, it's a good sci-fi action adventure mystery that if you like any of those older sci-fi shows, you're going to love this series. Now, cost-wise for this, it's going to cost you right around between 45 to 50 bucks, depending on the time and depending on the sale. I bought mine for right around 49 bucks with free shipping, and I think that's what it's at right now as of posting this video. And for the price for basically around 50 bucks, I thought it was a great deal for what you're getting out of it. And it's well worth it for this box set, especially for the fact of that the runtime on this is 1,400 minutes in this box set. So that's to give you an example, you're getting a huge, massive amount of runtime for all of these episodes that are on this. Now it is presented in its original aspect ratio. They didn't open the frame because of the fact that it's basically 1.33.1. So basically that four by three where it has the black bars that run along the sides. It's because they had the cameras and the sets where you could see those. So they determined when they went back to scan the original negatives 
to keep it with the bars on the sides so that way they didn't have the issues where you had like all the cameramen standing on the sides and i appreciate that and it doesn't bother me at all because i'd rather them keep the mystery of the show instead of you seeing stuff that you weren't supposed to see so it is in that original aspect ratio it does have subtitles as well english subtitles throughout the entire thing so you can opt in or opt out of those by selecting them through the menu or once you're watching the episode you can turn them on or off same thing with audio you can switch while you're watching the episode between the dts hd master audio the new mix of 5.1 or you can keep it on the original lpcm 2.0 mono mix but hands down that dts hd master audio is a way better mix now for my review score for this set this set's gonna get a 9.7. That's a phenomenal review score. I thought the image quality on this was great. And if you've been watching the screenshots above of what this show looks like, like I said, it's not gonna do it justice as if you're watching it on your home TV through the Blu-ray, through your Blu-ray player, on your 1080p or 4K TV. It's always gonna look better in person. It looks great. And like I said, if you own Mission Impossible, Murder, She Wrote, any of those Blu-ray sets that I've reviewed previously, you're really gonna enjoy this one because you can see every hair on their face, wrinkles, hats that they wore. They have some basically pleated and you can see every wrinkle on their clothes. It really does look great. Now, there is a downside sometimes that I will talk about just briefly that some of you have mentioned before. Sometimes when they remaster or restore these shows, you do see some errors more obviously, or you will see how some of the sets are not as high tech as what we have nowadays. But I think that personally adds to the charm of the show. And I personally think that I wouldn't want that edited out because that gives the charm to the 60 TV series. And that's why when it ran from 1966 to 1967, it really does have that basically 1960s charm. And to give you a little bit of background on this show, there is some hidden things about this show. They use some of the sets from Batman, the 1960s TV series, Lost in Space, and several other sci-fi TV series that were going on at the time, they used the same sets on them. So you'll see if you watch and pay attention, you'll see some of the stuff in the background of some of the episodes that's actually from those TV series. And I think that adds to the charm. I mean, I really do love all of these older TV series. And like most of you know that I've watched for a long time, I'm a big cinephile, whether it's TV series or movies. And this is one I highly recommend picking up and adding to your collection. 50 bucks i mean you can't go wrong for 50 bucks for a fully restored and remastered blu-ray tv series that you own on your own now and to give an example some people have talked about streaming on this show there is not a proper streaming version of this show if you want the full 1080p with the full remastered and brand new hd master audio mix the only way to get that is through this blu-ray release so if you're wondering, can I watch this on streaming? You cannot. This actual remaster is exclusive to Revelations Films, and you cannot see this through streaming services properly. So if you want to own this at the ultimate visual and audio quality, the only way to get this is through this exclusive Blu-ray release. So that's why when a lot of you will you'll try to find something that I've reviewed, a lot of these exclusive reviews that I go through, you can only get them through the actual Blu-ray sets or 4K releases. These companies and these smaller studios like Revelation Films, they're not doing them for streaming services. They're doing them for physical media. And that's why a lot of these, just like the 4Ks I've been talking about recently over the channel as well, you can't get those 4K remasters on streaming services. They don't have the Dolby Atmos mixes. They don't have Dolby Vision. Uh, and just like this, it won't have the DTS HD Master Audio Mix and it won't be the full 1080p HD. And that's where a lot of people say, well, hey, it's only streaming in 720p or 1080i a lot of the times. That's because these smaller studios are only releasing them on disc physically. And that's why I will always be a physical media collector. Don't like streaming services. Prime reason is because they dumb down the content. Just like what you've seen with Netflix talking about that they've dumbed down over 80% of the content they have doesn't even stream in full 1080p. And that's simply because of how they compress it so that way enough people can watch the content. So you're only getting somewhere in 720p content, they said most of the time. And that's why I will always buy these to own these. And this one at 9.7 is a great review score. Let me know if you've seen this because I'm always curious if you guys have seen the Time Tunnel or any of these TV series that I review over time. This one is well worth adding to your collection, especially if you collect a lot of these older TV series. 
you're gonna really, really enjoy this one. My wife, she sat down, guys and gals, doesn't matter which you are, she sat down and watched this with me from the beginning and really enjoyed it. She thought it was one of the best 1960s TV series and was really upset that it didn't continue on. And that's one of those things that because of that budget constraints back then, it limited it and that's why they basically had to cancel it. Well worth picking up. Let me know if you've seen this or if you enjoyed the show either originally, if you've seen it in reruns, or if you're excited to pick this up. Make sure to start the conversation in the comment section below. I always love to talk to all of you and I try to reply to as many of you as I can. So make sure to start that conversation down in the comment section below. And make sure if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving this a super thanks for me. Make sure to go down there and consider giving this a super thanks for me. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to give this video a like, click that subscribe button and the bell notification right next to it. And like I said, the links for this are linked right in the description section right below this video. Make sure if you're gonna pick this up, pick it up through that link below. That way that helps support the channel as well. I've had a fun time today. Let me know what you thought about this show if you're gonna pick it up. Make sure to comment below. And I hope all of you have a blessed day and I look forward to the time I get to do this again real soon.